Aloha, it's 365Y with Eric and Julie Zimalis, and we are on a beach in North Kahala. Kind of in the middle of nowhere. We're heading yeah. south is where we're heading to. We might actually uh, head to um, Mauna Kea. Mauna Kea is kind of where we're at. And yep, we yep. started at Spencer. Right. And so we're walking along the Alaka Aikai Trail, which is a trail that makes you actually stop, ponder, and enjoy the nature and the scenery. And we're stopping along the way and showing you guys what it looks like. But we're also going to be talking uh, about something a little bit deeper today. Yeah, what we're going to be talking about is what we've learned in Hawaii by being here. And remember, we've been here since approximately 2005, so a, lo a long time. And uh, our background is that we came from California, and, and we were in the Silicon Valley, in the heart of Silicon Valley. Yeah, so don't boo and hiss right now, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so what, what our, our topic today is we're going to talk about materialism and how it is quite different here in Hawaii than it is on the mainland. What do you really need to be happy? How much material things do you need? And that's kind of what uh, this video is about for Hawaii, is that you don't need as much stuff as you do on the mainland. And do you need the much stuff on the mainland it, it also? It kind of goes back to this. There's a sort of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And yes, you need to have housing. Yes, you need to have a car. And yes, you need to have clothing. But how much do you need to have clothing? Do you need a closet full of clothing or do you need a few things? And that's one thing about here is that you're not really judged on your clothing and you're not really judged on the car you drive. So it becomes a lot less important. But the beauty of having a little bit less stuff, it also takes a little bit of pressure off you and I think it makes your life happier because uh, you're more free. You're not sort of weighed down by all these things. you guys have been with us since the beginning. I mean, I was started blogging on 365 Kona back in like the day, 2006. Um, and uh, one of the stories I wrote for the blog was called 58 Boxes. And it was a story of all the stuff that I had to compress into boxes after we um, got to sell the house in the Bay Area. And um, I, I was overwhelmed with 58 boxes. We didn't have, we couldn't move them all here. We were moving into a condo and looking at all that stuff and not knowing that it was overwhelming. In fact, I've talked to many, many people who've moved to this island and that overwhelming feeling of, oh my God, what am I going to do with all my stuff and I can't take it with me is a thing. But I will say though that maybe I took like, I don't know, four. And you know what? I forgot about most of the other things. I didn't think about it until I came back to get more of my stuff. And as soon as I opened up those boxes like that, oh, I need the baby clothes or oh, I need this stuff from like my high school, you know, reunion or whatever. Uh, but that gave me a chance to get away from the heaviness of stuff. And we moved to Kona and literally moved into a 750 square foot condo and I didn't have that much stuff. In fact, we didn't even have Christmas ornaments that year. We basically made it as a family. And you know what? This year in 2023, I actually put some of those Christmas ornaments up on the tree and I had great memories. And I didn't have to buy them. The kids made them. They made them better memories. But all the stuff I left behind, it didn't matter. And I think that I, if you had told me that back in that day, I would say, no, 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 I need this, this, and this, and I need to be have all this stuff to make me happy. I didn't. And my friends who have moved here, we've asked each other, what, what, what do you regret the most? Most people say, I regret bringing too much stuff. So it just becomes an anchor. And so um, I'm glad we kind of got rid of a lot of that stuff. But uh, you know, for you guys who are mini hoarders like me, you know it's a hard thing, but it does make it lighten your load in life when you're not pulling that stuff behind you. So we have walked over this acres and acres of fire. This was the fire that was also destroyed uh, at the same time as the Maui fire, but this was here on Big Island. And we weren't quite, didn't realize how much devastation was because we never got this far. But it is just burnt clean and now everything's dead and it just looks like that. I think 
part of what causes entitlement is when things show up like this and also when you can get whatever you want like this that's one thing on this island that keeps us all humble and uh, away from uh, getting into that is that on this island stuff doesn't just show up in fact if you find stuff and you don't get it soon it might not come back again so we are not tied to the expectation of the perfect thing showing up all the time because nine times out of ten here it doesn't so i think that um if uh you kind of like live your life again i think this goes back with when everything just keeps showing up for you all the time whenever you need it it does something to your soul and i think that having just the opportunity to go and find stuff or just let stuff go again it kind of just frees your interior like you know energy being Okay, so for me, coming here was, was kind of a shock. Uh, my career back in the uh, Silicon Valley, I was uh, Mountain View, California is where my shop was. And uh, I used to build high-end furniture and some sculpture, but primarily big reception desks and conference tables and things like that for all of those uh, 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 startup companies that were going on. And uh, it was interesting because I could get anything I wanted in the Bay Area. I could get metal, I could get wood, glass, anything I needed I could find. So I came here and I was kind of deciding whether I was going to continue on with my profession because I've been doing it such a long time. And when I got here, I realized it was really hard. Number one, that just getting example, we, I would try to go buy a piece of metal and it would take might take two months to get it in. And versus the, uh, back in the old days, I just go down to the store and get it. So it wasn't really conducive to actually building things. But then what happened was, is I, I, I ended up getting a job managing a condo association, which doesn't sound as glamorous. At the end of the day, I found out that that it wasn't as important as it was. I used to believe this table was the best table that you could possibly imagine. But at the end of the day, you guys got to remember, it's just a table at the end of the day. It's not that not that cool. So learning that took, took it took a few years for that to sink in. Uh, but at the same time, I've been my life's been a lot more happier and a lot more free because I wouldn't have to quite quite be so intense about building these things. have to put that stuff in the house and you have to have the house and then you can't do the things you want to do in life if you don't have all that stuff you have more time and energy to go out and actually have experiences which is why we moved to Hawaii and a lot of other people come here as well because why have stuff if you can do this with this video also is uh, to find people who actually want to live here or move here and buy a home um, who understand that uh, you know live with Aloha and uh, to come with uh, your expectations in check and also to let Hawaii change you don't change Hawaii yep so uh, we have another real estate channel it's 365 Hawaii for those of you guys who are interested in sort of the real estate side of life right and uh, if you want to learn more about um, getting involved with our Ohana and getting involved with the community and the volunteer work that we're doing go to 365 Hawaii living and join our Ohana or contact us directly and uh, you guys hopefully that uh, you know if we can, it can make you think and also if we can uh, you know bring a little bit of a uh, spiritual joy to your lives that uh, we hope you have so thank you guys we'll say aloha